different position because they were. They were All right, you guys are roommates. He told us something about you. Talked about your cooking. He, uh, yeah. Tell us something about him that the fans won't know. Uh, he's a secret singer. He loves Chris Brown. I'm does he? Singing Chris Brown all day around the house and Trey songs. So do you put the headphones on when he's singing, or you, no, you okay with it? No, we just I never really thought about it. Uh, he said you're a great cook. What do you, what do you think your best dishes I mean, are? Uh, I say uh, southern food, so like fried chicken. Uh, I like tacos. I make tacos a lot. I cook some good steak. You guys talked a lot, obviously, in the offseason about whether to come back or not. How much uh, did y'all's relationship play in that? Area, uh, I played a lot. Five, you know, I mean, uh, we was talking every day, mostly every day about it. And we just uh, made a decision, you know, a joint decision. Uh, I mean, we, it was an individual decision, but we like we like brothers, so like one decision might affect others. Like, you know, what I'm so it was pretty good. You guys obviously made Sweet 16 last year. Do you feel like this year's team can be as good as last year's, or maybe even better? Um, oh yeah, definitely. We got uh, a lot of size and athleticism. It's probably the biggest team that I played on. You know, um, guys are long. Uh, we can defend, so I think we're going to have uh, another good defensive being, year. That you know, was like top 10, top 15 so last year. Yeah, we got the uh, athleticism really to do it again this things, year. Really and the offense is like looking pretty good. Uh, you know, uh, some guys will have to step up. Fill the void of Gage of um, Dante Grant. I think it's the potential to Clyde Trapp, AJ Oliver, John Newman, Hunter Tyson, all those guys can contribute. I uh, went to high school with John's dad. He was a heck of a player back in the day. Yeah. Tell us what he's going to bring to the table this year. Oh, John, he's going to uh, bring his – he got crazy athleticism, so defense. He can uh, score off ball screens, get out of transition, finish, rebound. He's just a pest on defense, so he just brings that energy and toughness to our team. Coach Brownell loves that defense. That helps you get on the court quicker. Yeah. You feel like that will be the case for John? Yeah. He's going to get on the court quick with his defense. You know, he's got long arms, get deflections all the time, so he's going to play. What did you guys learn in that Sweet 16 run last year that can help y'all if you get back to the tournament this year? Uh, just uh, play calm and poised, you know. It's treated like any normal game. Don't get too high, don't get too low. Uh, don't let your emotions get the best of you. And uh, just give it all you got because any game can be your last game. With the pieces you have back, you look around your locker room. Yeah, this looks to me like another top 25 team. And this is another, you know, winning AC team, another NCAA tournament type team. Yeah, every day. Uh, I feel it in practice when we're practicing that we're playing like we're supposed to be playing. And, um, you know, guys are just putting the work in, you know, after practice, guys getting their shots, coming in on off days, getting treatment, working out. So I think guys are still hungry to get back to the team. What, what, what makes you confident that you'll, you'll be able to do that? Is it just all the experience you guys have back? Or? Yeah, uh, definitely. Like, our freshmen, they went to the tournament as freshmen last year, so they got their experience early. Um, and me and Sean being seniors, we have uh, five seniors on the team, so I think that's uh, that will help. Uh, bringing the young guys with us. You know, we got some